Hello my convicts and convict heads, yes it is time to cup convict and yes we're going to play some Black Ops 3 so let's jump in and see what we can do. It's been a while, I don't know if we're going to get into any games. I've noticed a lot of the time to keep saying it's going to give me 50 matches and then it doesn't, which is kind of weird. Obviously it's not going to be as played game as such but I don't know if it's skill based matchmaking that's doing this and no one's at my level or skill so it's not able to find me a match. It's kind of annoying. Let me back out and try again. And I'm on that type open, so there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not using a net doomer. I'm not using anything to geofilter or anything like that because I don't have a net doomer at the moment due to my breaking. But I can't get into games apparently, and there's 50 matches. Okay. There we go. Eventually we get there. Right, here we go. So, um, ooh, we've got TTV on our team. TTV, by the way. And they've got a team on their side. Don't know. It should show you who's teamed with who. Like if I'm Oz is only teamed with Frank, Kalos, then they, they should be like green. And then these other two could be blue. Like the two TTVs on my team. I'm assuming they're together. So they'll be like a blue colour. But I have different colours for each team. So you know who's teamed with who. Or blue, green, red for each team. So you know who's, who's together on their team and who's together on our team. So the two, well, the few teams on there is the Prophet, the Sparrow, and the War Machine. Apparently. Right. Yes, Finally, we got into a game. CDP. Mission I thought we'd never get into a game. Right, this is my first time playing, so I have to excuse my badness. Looks like I haven't got a reticle yet, because it's not loaded my reticle in. It's one of the problems with Black Ops. Is if you pick a custom reticle, it won't load it in for some reason. Okay, there's a guy there. Oh, he gone in? I think he's gone this way. Oh, no, he's going to pop. That's him down. What about you? Him, yep. Okay. Naming feels so weird in this game. Oh, careful, I killed you, but apparently not. Let me back up a minute. for a minute. Oh. oh of all the times he comes out. I don't I didn't even hear his footsteps. He's got no footsteps whatsoever. Even though he hasn't got that silence on which is kinda weird. There you go. Double kill. Okay. 
behind me. So they're definitely on this side. Hi. Okay. You gonna wall run? No. Okay, let me back off because he has got a sparrow. Down. Oh, I knew he was going to be there. This is a problem when you don't have separate moving and aiming. You have to kind of sacrifice this for this. Which is all, was always the problem at the beginning of Call of Duty as such. For me personally. I like this to be a bit more slower. And I do like my aiming to be a little bit slow as well. At the moment I feel like it's very sort of wobbly. Gonna wall run. Go on. You know you want a wall run. No. I heard him. Unless it was his clone. I was running. Okay. 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 Hi. There you go. I'm ready then. Go ahead and let's try it again. No? <laughs> Bye. Oh, they're spawning behind us. But then again, they can spawn on both sides generally. No, they're definitely this side at the moment. Far hurts. Just missed that train. Oh my god. That was a scary thought for a second. What are we doing here, boys? I can see you. Oh god, we've only got one uh I couldn't do nothing, I had no bullets, damn it! <laughs> 17 and 3. 5.67 KD. Dang. Dang, sir. Huh? Dang. And here comes Paul Outrider. Boom. She knew One at that shot. moment One she'd hit. messed up. Won't even hear it coming. Hmm. Hmm. There we go.
So I got the highest KD out of everyone here, 17 and 3, 5.67 KD, dang. I'm going to play. Now obviously when we get the new connection, and everything gets finalized obviously with the new, everything, the new setup and everything like that, then obviously it will probably change, I'll be able to be a bit more aggressive, because I know a lot of people say I've got more of like a campy play style, but for the way that I play, I play as good as the connection will allow me to be. And that is generally where I feel that that connection is at the moment. If I did anything different than that, I would just find myself dying more, not to people with skill, which you can obviously die to people with skill, but I find myself dying more to people who have better connections. So when you shoot and they shoot, a lot of the gunfights you get into are predetermined on the connection as well to where it feels like your position, their position to who's shooting first and in most Call of Duties, especially the older Call of Duties a lot of the time it would take someone obviously would have a much more responsive experience if they, say they're on a 5 ping and I'm on a 25 ping so it just depends, and generally in Call of Duty, Call of Duty is itself, I generally have a higher ping as well, uh, which will not show up in the moment. And I'm a wired connection. No, I can't do it yet. When I drop in, I'll show you, but I generally get between 30 or 40 odd ping on here, even though on like Apex Legends, I'll get about 24 ping on Apex Legends generally. And it fluctuates quite a lot. One of the biggest problems I always had in Call of Duty, I think most people have this problem in Call of Duty, to be honest, because their servers are just absolutely terrible. One thing I have noticed is when they released, especially on Modern Warfare, the new custom servers, they are actually really, really good. I'm getting around a solid 30 to 40 ping on customs for some weird reason. So they need to use those servers for public and not their own servers that I've been using at the moment because they're absolutely terrible. But, hey ho, it is what it is, I guess. We've got TTV on our team again. So we'll do one more and then we'll leave it there. Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Please feel free to comment in the comments below as well. I appreciate it. And if you've not noticed, I do answer literally all my comments unless it's a stupid comment and it's kind of pointless. You know, just like you're dumb or something stupid like that, then obviously I'm not going to answer a comment like that because it's just pointless and a waste of time. I don't mind constructive criticism, saying, you know, if you do this and this, maybe you'll do this better and such and so, so forth. But if it's just a dumb comment, then you're just wasting your time, to be honest. I get very little of them, but I do tend to get the odd couple. The the area, funnily enough, that I got most weird comment was in Realm Royale. People are quite toxic in Realm Royale. And I got a few people actually saying, you're trash and this and that and the other. Which is kind of weird. For such like a cartoony kind of game. Right. Well, what I'm going to do, I am think I'm going to just pause it here because it's kicked me out and I've done how long it's going to take for me to get into another game and then obviously we'll restart once we get into another game so see you in just a moment well here we go we've finally got into a game so let's see how we do now I think the other team is stacked so it's going to be pretty difficult this game if my team's not good I don't know how this is going to play I don't even know if we're going to get a full game I don't I expect so I expect it to be like halfway through <sighs> which is not ideal, but unfortunately I can't find any of the games and the lack of games could be because of my skill level on here, which I'll show you what my KD is at the moment on Black Ops 3. This is uh, probably one of the reasons why I have uh, kind of games than I have done many of the others. But uh, we'll try out some of the new guns. I've got new guns on like M16, the FFAR and the Galil. So let's, let's have a bash with the Galil. Oh my god, my team again absolutely mangled. Mangled and tangled. Okay, 
Captain Laggy Pants. This game is lagging a little bit. Alright, we are out here. I feel like my best option here is just to cover the, the back. I'm trying not to push too much because obviously they're just going to run behind us all the time. over here. Oh, I thought it was going to go the other way. Hi. Is our teammates not covering the back at all? Because all I'm getting is people going around the back of us and then shoot me in the back. Right, I'm just going to cover here. Not much I can do. Just cover the back lines. Sorry, I'm on your team. Chill. Hi. Alright, we good? No, we're not good. Okay, we got him. Whoa! As you can see, that's why this game is not particularly the great, greatest. Connections are not good at all in this game. As you can see. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. Time. Don't hold back. Okay. I don't know, because you stunned me. Wait a minute, who was he there? Was he Firebreak there? Because he didn't look like Firebreak, he looked like Ruin. What? Float like a butterfly, punch like a freaking jackhammer. Did you see that? That was Rune. Rune just used Firebreak's ability there. And as you can see, my my team were terrible. The only person who did well in that team was me, and I joined in late. But that was weird. That was he was Ruin, but yeah, he used Firebreak's ability. So I'm guessing he's a cheater. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to leave it here. Unfortunately, I can't find any of the good games. And I don't want to just keep on searching and searching and searching. Because it takes a long time to do that. But uh, I've been struggling a little bit for games at the moment. We need some good more games. There is a new game called Hyperscape. Which is out at the moment. That looks really, really cool. But they're not releasing on console just yet. They're giving it a few weeks. Until they get it down with the PC. And obviously selling it on PC. Uh, through the streamers and obviously if you watch a streamer for so long you get points and you get the chance to have the ability to um, to get a code for it. But I'm really really pumped. I really want to try out Hypescape. It looks pretty cool. 
I'm hoping the devs do release it though as a trial or test server thing run for the console because it just seems like what they want to do is kind of iron out all the bugs and get it to where they want it to and tweak it and stuff at the moment while the PC players play it and then just throw it out there for everything else but I feel that's a bad idea if they're going to do it for console because console is not going to work the same way a PC does so hopefully they don't anyway this is Black Ops 3, hopefully enjoyed. So don't forget to like, subscribe, tap that notification bell. And yes, it is I, the Capcom Vic, standing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you soon in another gameplay. I apologize for the slight lack of gameplay, but I really wanted to play Black Ops 3 today. And it's just unfortunate. There's just not a great deal of lobbies out there. Anyway, bye for now.